and salutations. I want to just encourage you in this one fact. If you are in a relationship or if you're seeking relationship, I want you to keep this in mind. In relationships, we are not called to settle. We're not called to lower our standards in order for somebody to fit the bill. When people have certain quirks about themselves, it's not, it's not for us to say, okay, that's just them. And, you know, maybe they're changing or I'm just something I have to live with. Look, I don't like tomatoes. And for me to be with somebody and to have to tell them every single day, I don't like tomatoes. And when they fix meals, they, they still put tomatoes in it. And I make excuses for them and have to say, oh, that's just them. Or they make the excuse to say, oh, well, I, I'm just going autopilot. You know, I just kind of zone out when I'm making, you, you know, making this dish. And so I don't remember to take it out. To me, that goes, that gets out of the love and respect. And God teaches us. In 533, husband, love your wives. Wives, respect your husbands. Submit. You know, and so if we're doing anything that shows a lack of respect or shows that I don't love you, some people take that, again, as not loving them or not respecting them. And we have to always challenge ourselves that we don't become complacent. And, well, you know, we've been together 15 years, you know, because I can't imagine being with somebody. And I tell you from day one, you know, I don't like my eggs peppered. And then all of a sudden it's 15 years later and you're wondering and, and then all of a sudden you wonder you wonder why I'm blowing up. Because I told you day one, I don't like my eggs peppered. So. My, my encouragement to you in, is this. Don't get complacent in your marriage. Don't just accept average ho-hum, humdrum stuff from your, your spouse or your partner. Make it a point to be intentional in your relationship. Make it a point that you know what? They, they made a point to let me know up front what they like and dislike. And to totally disregard that shows a lack of priority. That they are not a priority. That their concerns are not a priority. And guess what? That becomes selfish. That means you're being selfish. And anything that focuses on you in a relationship is sin. God tells us your job is to serve one another, to love one another, not to only look, not to look after yourself, only take care of yourself. So my encouragement to you is this, in your, as it re pertains to relationships, serve the other person, fill their cup, and as you fill their cup, they will be more inclined and will go above and beyond to fill yours, and then you have a healthy relationship. But don't hold back. Don't be afraid to voice your concerns and voice your opinions in, relation, in the relationship of what you want, what you need. Don't be afraid to say, hey, you know what? I don't like my eggs peppered. You know what? I hear you, baby, saying that. And you know what? I'm going to make a conscious decision to make sure I don't pepper the eggs. Why? Because I love you. Why? Because I respect you. That's my encouragement to you. Be blessed. I pray this message finds you well. God is on the throne. Jesus is Lord. And the devil is defeated. I'm Clifton. This is Cliff Notes. Class dismissed.